take the mickey out of Helen for the way she parks the car. Look at this. Eh? Prime bit of parking. But if I'm honest, I parked it. Hi Bob. Hi Bob. So good morning everybody. Good morning everybody. That's it, I'm done. Hasta pronto. Take Hi, two. Hi, <laughs> Sid. I'm just going to say hello to Mum and Sid from Wales. Thanks for watching us, guys. Say hello to Mum and Sid. Hi. Hi, Mum and Sid. Take four. What was the thing? Oh, new slash. Bob remembered to take his phone with him wherever he went, and yesterday he got a text message. What for? <laughs> no, I'm going to, I'm going to get my jabs. Yep. So he's got the dates for his jabs, which next, is good. Next Tuesday is first, and he's got his second three weeks later. Oh, there you go. They're, they're doing the three weeks between here in Spain, three months. Right, which is cool. So that's you done in time for Disney. Tommy, Tommy so Dad's going to be going to America. I'm, I'm so he's going on, on his own. I'm going on my own. I, I will enjoy yeah. it. Go with your mates. He'll have his vaccine passport. He won't. Yeah. Oh, the other thing what I remember is we've had a lot of people that sent in suggestions for bar names, for cocktail names. There's one particular name that's appeared in quite a few. Bob. We've had the slippery bob as a, as a suggestion for a cocktail. The um, drunken bob. Bob's bar. Yeah, Bob's bar. Hi, Bob, as a cocktail. Yeah. yeah so we haven't decided yet. We're, we're still coming in. So, so if, you've, if you've been sending them in, I've tried to respond to as many as we can because we're getting them from all over the place at the minute. Um, and that's running, so that's running until. Uh, we said the 30th of April, so you've still got time to email, send a private message, you know, your suggestions for the two bars, see you last weekend, so we'll get more details on that. But not the outdoor bars, they're already named. Yes. 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 The bar so, and the restaurant. Yes. By the way, hi Mo, hi Sid. Again. <laughs> The other thing that's been good actually, we've had quite a few that's watched last weekend's vlog because I release it typically on a Thursday, uh, that's had a crack or having a crack at making Russian salad, which is cool. Yeah, a few people have been making Russian salad. And we've had a few questions in as well for our, to put towards our question and answer session. Yes, yeah, so if you've got any questions about us, what we do, or Alan, we've been here, or, or any, of us. any of us, you know, send them in, we'll, we'll do that for our first anniversary vlog. Even questions about Maddie. Even Maddie. And on the subject of Maddie. Really yeah, she's single. There's nothing really interesting. Why are you to be asking me questions? <laughs> Actually, there is. What's happening on the 1st of May? Oh, I'm going to Castellon to see some of my friends. So, she's going to cover somewhere else, was that not? Yeah, she'll do a vlog of a different area. Oh. And also, what's happening at the moment tomorrow? I've got my practical exam for the uh, lifeguard course, and then on from the 27th to the 30th, I've got the theory exam. She's joining Baywatch. I'm not wearing keep this losing, keep, keep losing weight, you'll be you'll be in there with it. No, I'm not I'm not wearing the skimpy uh red swimsuit. I'm gonna have a word with Lewis to see if he can do that. And then you can run down beach and you can run around the pool. Yeah. A lot of people have asked about what we thought of uh, restaurant the chef last week. That'll be a separate vlog in a few weeks time. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was alright. You've got no complaints. Hey. Right, so oh, see on. this guy here. Yeah. I can't tell you who he is. He's our bank manager, but we can't. But he's our bank manager, and we can't tell you what bank it is because he's not allowed to be on video promoting his bank. But he's ace. But he's always trying to sell us something. Even if it's his mother's old second hand pants. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Good grasp of English. Lived in Coventry, unfortunately, for how many years? <laughs> Three years or something like that. Yeah. So he calls a spade a spade. We'll sort you out if you need to see somebody. If you need a mortgage or anything like that, let us know. Yeah. We'll send you to this guy. I can't even tell you that his name's Javi. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't tell you what bank it is. We can't tell you that. No, no. No, no, no. No, no. no. definitely no. can't. Well, we were told we couldn't. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but Bob can, yeah. He, Shut my oh, mouth. You did? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't show that, Gavs. It's got all your bank numbers on it. 
<laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> no, I said, no. Oh, I sorted. Oh my god. Happy Friday, mate. Yeah, thank Long you very much indeed. No Usually, you only see me, you know, getting money out of me. Exactly. Hi, guys. This is the Alley County Outlet. Not doing much to show you today because well, barbecue. Really, there's not really anything to film. But what are you doing? I'm pork. Just, I'm pork. just going to marinate these pork steaks, yeah. Just with the stuff that I normally do on the ribs. And then I'll put down the barbecue. And I'm just going to do the barbecue. Now we've got a little secret. Ah, right. Yeah, we need to cover this before Bob shows his face. So we'll tell we'll tell this later. This is a little surprise. These were recommended to us. Somebody asked us about. He's not coming. Don't worry. Somebody asked us about vegan food, vegan restaurants, and everything else. No, we don't because we all like meat. But we were recommended these from Lidl. So we're going to give these a try. Yeah, Sarah at work has said that they're absolutely fantastic. And Claire as well. And, well, Sarah told Claire about them now. David, who's a meat egg, prefers these to meat. So we've got vegan burgers. I've got Gareth and his mum coming for tea as well. My dad and Gareth have got no idea that they're eating vegan burgers tonight. They think they're having proper beef burgers. I want to see if they can, t if they can tell the difference. They might, <laughs> they, they might think they're crap, they might think they're good. We'll soon find out. Yeah. How much were they? Uh, they were two ninety nine, ninety five, two ninety nine, something like that for two burgers. So about one fifty each. Yeah, so that's little they're not, thing. They're not very big, uh, but we'll see. Well, they, they look about a similar sort of size, maybe. They're, they're, How many is there? Is there two? There's two in there. All right, so they look a little so bit thicker than the yeah, thin ones from Mercadona. They're not, too, they're not too thick, but I just don't want them to know that they're eating vegan burgers. Is it worth taking them out of them packets and putting them in a bag? It's all right. They'll not see them. They'll not see them. Okay. That's why I put one in my jar and put another one. What was I saying? Oh, hello, you. Who are you saying hello to? Then there. Um, we've been looking at Disney again. We, we don't know if it's going to happen. One minute, like Alan said earlier, one minute, yes. Next minute, no. Um, we, I spoke we're getting excited for it. Well, I, I spoke to um, a friend who works for 
Virgin Atlantic last week and she feels confident that we'll be going. She's a cabin crew on Virgin. But then today we've just been reading that UK have been put on the do not go list by America. So maybe they will not be able to go. Yeah, my dad's a bit of the opinion that if he's not had meat on his dinner, he's not had a dinner. So we'll see if he likes these vegan burgers or not. So here's the, here's the thing, just to give you an idea, well, we're excited about Disney, apart from it's great. If you've never been, I, I went now that we in there, first time I went. Well, you weren't bothered about it really, were you? No. All right, and now I'm chopping up a bit to get back to my food trip. At Disney, in Florida, there are in the region of, two when it's fully open, 200 different restaurants, snack carts, snack places, covering all sorts. The food is really good. And you get such a massive variety, not only in flavours, in regions where it's from, but also like prices. Usually the quality is really good as well, isn't it? It's one of the few places where we know that we can go and if we're going to get prawns, for instance, we know the prawns will be clean. Imagine pan there's, a, there's a cart in Magic Kingdom that does pancake rolls. No big deal, but one pancake roll is cheeseburger flavoured, the other one is pepperoni pizza flavoured. Looking forward to that. Now, when we're 60 days out from when we're due to be in Disney, not 60 days out from being in America, because we're there a week before that. Well, we're in Universal for a week, aren't we? Yeah. We went to Discovery Cove, and at Discovery Cove, for birthday or Christmas, paid for us so we can go swimming with dolphins. And one of the kids is coming down. Is Maddie doing it? One of them is. I think, it's I think not it's Francesca's not. Yes, yeah, so I think it's Maddie. Doing it. And they might not be any cooking for a, a little while now because ah, a week yeah. on Monday um, they're starting the re uh, renovations on my house. So for the rest of this weekend and this week I need to get packed up. I've, I've even got to put my furniture in storage because they're going to be digging the floors up. Literally they've got to dig holes into the floors. Yeah, but my drains are a bit collapsed underneath apparently. So they've got to put new drains in and I've got to have it all retiled. I'm having a new kitchen put in, new windows. So we're going to be in a bit of a mess for a few weeks. So you might see a bit more footage actually from my house of me being on my Jack Jones. Yeah, I can't say I'm looking forward to it. No, how long going to take them, maybe? Four to six weeks, they said. <clears throat> I know where we'll be eating for the next uh, two months on a Sunday. Oh, surprise, surprise, we're going there tomorrow because it's cheap. Not because it's cheap, because we like it. And it's because it's awful. good. And also because Bob was told he owed maintenance money. <laughs> We're going to go. Again. Again. Don't forget if you've got any questions for us, send them through. Yeah, there could be questions about sort of um, our lives, um, the things we like, the things we don't like, childhood, anything, can't it? This time five years ago, we actually had, we went back to England for our school reunion for our year. We had a school reunion, that was a fantastic night. It looks like we might be having another one, possibly here in Spain. I'm guessing it's not going to be this year, but next year. I would imagine it'll be next year. So if you get a chance, I mean, there's a lot of people we, we don't necessarily be in touch with, but everybody from the moment we walked through that door, everybody was smiling. Right, if you didn't know, we went to school together, sort of. Because I was really nervous about going to our school reunion, but when we got there, you realised everybody were really nervous about going to the school reunion, weren't they? It weren't just us. Now the other thing as well that showed up on the memories, not for me, but for Helen and for Bob and the kids, is four years ago. Was it your first trip? It was my first trip to Rome. Yeah. We took uh, well, the mum and dad paid for Maddie for her 18th birthday because Maddie wanted to, that's what she wanted for her 18th birthday from the mum and dad, she wanted a trip to Rome. So they paid for a trip to Rome, we went for, I think it was five days, and loved it. I've got to say still, Rome is probably one of my favourite cities. We've been twice, haven't we? Yeah. It's hard to believe that you've actually been three times in the last four years yeah, and there's been a pandemic for a year. That, that's what I said. Um, you know when you suggested going again, I think I'd rather be somewhere else for a change. You know, because I've been to Rome such a lot of times over the last few years. But it is good. 
Yeah, she, she will completely spoil for her 18th birthday. I got her a Volkswagen Beetle. Not an original one, one of her new shape ones. Yeah, a new, a, a new Beetle. She got tucked to Rome by my mum and dad. We went to Disney World and surprised them with five days in New York. So it was that All the way a, back. That were a, a good uh, 18th birthday for them, I'd say. I had a birthday party at mine as well for when I were 18. I think we went out for a meal when I were 18. I think we, as a family we went out for a meal and then I might have gone As a family? Life. That means there must have been about 80 of you. Yeah. Her family's like the works on Matthew. Well, not quite, but it's a lot of them. I think we went to Regency. To oh, God. Regency. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm trying to think last time I went there. I think that's when I went for my 18th birthday. Now, one thing that, that was mentioned in relation to last weekend's vlog was we're having up with this, the new business. Um, hope you're not going to stop doing the vlogs. Yeah. That's never even been thought of, has it? Really? Well, Andy's obsessed anyway, so that's not going to happen. I would have something to keep me occupied. Oh, here's a question we've been asked twice. And people don't always see in the descriptions or anything. Uh, you sometimes get asked about what the music is, what the tracks are that's on the on the videos, particularly the newer ones. Um, they're actually done by one of our subscribers, one of our followers. His name's Tony. Uh, cheers, Tony. Hope you're in the Wi-Fi one. Uh, they've actually got they've actually got a place here in Torrey Vieca, and we've never met each other yet. Hoping, were we hoping last year? Definitely we were hoping this year. Um, I think we have a bit or two. So if, you, if you're interested, if you like the stuff that we've got typically, uh, do a search on YouTube for Sound Grounder Music and you'll find him. But he's, actually Tony was probably one of the first subscribers that we had and one of the first, uh, one of the first people that actually commented on our video. So, great. Starting on the 15th of July, is that right? Or the 14th yeah, of July? Yeah, uh, no, it starts on the... I think it starts on the 15th of July. I could be one day out either. At Epcot, there's Epcot Food and Wine Festival. And that was on when we went before, but we didn't know what it was and we never really took part in it. When we get there this year, we have a park ticket booked for the day after. So we'll be there on the second day for food and wine. So don't be surprised if you follow us on Instagram for instance, you start to get a shed load of photos of different food from different booths. We're there, I think it's three different occasions we're at Epcot, if memory serves. We're at Epcot three different occasions, so whatever we try, we don't try on one event, we'll possibly try on another if it sounds reasonable. It's not going to be a cheap event by any means for what we're doing, but with the food. 72 days till Orlando and 79 days till Disney World. The plan is what we will do is we will still be doing the stuff that we do here. And when we come back from Disney, the plan is that we will still be doing at least one of those per week and possibly at least one Disney per week on a different day. So you get to choose whether you watch them or not. Yeah, so if you're not interested in the Disney vlogs, just yeah. it'll say Disney on it, you just skip yeah. them because we don't want to. We don't want to bore you all stiff that have been sort of um, interested, interested over this last year because we've not really done anything to do with Disney over this last yeah, year. Yeah, we've so. not been able to. Uh, but the plan is that we'll possibly do two Disney vlogs a week. One will be purely on food, I think, and the other one will be like a day at the parks, wherever we were. So what is the, the burgers oh, and okay. the pork that we've got tonight? Because we've got the pork, like I said, I've made the pork into the, it's the same sort of Chinese flavour that I put on the rooms when I make those. We've got the burgers that we've told you about. We've also got this from Mercadona. It's quite, it's a cheap barbecue tonight. I've not really put any effort into anything. I've even bought Russian salad and coleslaw. But this is uh, really nice. It's chicken breast and it's in garlic and herbs. It comes in little thin slices and it cooks really quickly. But it's very tasty. So that, if you're here in Spain, is worth a try as well. Into the corn or? No. What do you reckon to it? Not for me. No. I'd be well disappointed if somebody served me that in a restaurant. I'd have done as a meat gun in. And make my own and see what they taste like. Well, that's what this guy did. He bought corn. Tastes alright. 
the Ponta Burger, Ponta Burger. And we finished the lemon chalice. Yeah, and the lemon chalice almost done. Cheers. Cheers, with you. I've got another five litres of it in coming. Well, it might only be four. Four litres. We never did work The other thing as well, if um, if you plan a week in advance, because we've started to get a few of these, if you want somebody a shout out to somebody for the birthday or something like that, just send them through as a message, wouldn't it? Mm. Sunday morning, that's how we're all. Happy birthday, Dad. Mm. Uh, Happy birthday, Graham. Yeah. Uh, Are you not filming me because I'm uh, in my PJs and I've not been up to my hair yet? I'm not doing it to my hair yet. There's not really much you can do to my hair. Oh my god, hardly any hair, so that's not going to make any difference, is it? Look at this weather. Back down to what Helen was saying. April. May. No surprises for guessing where we're going to. I'll give you a clue. It's a Sunday and we need to be down here. We went to Gong's for the third time in a month on Sunday and the food's so good. Uh, we've covered that before. As we were leaving, we bumped into none other than the Scottish couple in Spain from YouTube. Nice to meet you guys. That's about it. Weekend over and done with. In about a week's time, the guys are going to come start the renovations. This is the same guys that did Casa Bob, and this is the same guys that's working on the Oasis. So it's a good team, and if anybody needs any work doing over here in Spain, give us a shout and we'll put you in touch with them. I'm in my comfies because I'm so full from eating at Gong's, I can't fit my jeans on anymore. Oh, uh, Angel Angel is your name on Facebook. Nice to meet you earlier. Yeah, nice to meet you. It's di I'm, difficult to yeah. understand in here with the masks on there. It's pain in the backside. But When yeah. people have got masks on, you can't even recognise who they are, can yeah. you? And I think somebody else actually, um, who follows us on Facebook at least, was in Gong as well. Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. So, you know, if you go to any of the restaurants that you, we've done the reviews on, let us know, let us know what you think. Feedback. My living room's looking really, really, really empty now though. Yeah. I've got to I've got boxes all over there. I've taken all the units out and I've got to contact some guys to put some furniture in storage for me. I'm not looking forward to this. No. So the weather's turned a little bit, but as we've said it's hit and miss lately anyway. Time of the year. Nothing unusual. No. Uh, we can get some fantastic thunderstorms, but not necessarily with any rain. Spectacular is the word you're looking for. Uh, apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you've liked it, give us a thumbs up. Leave us some comments. You know, don't forget, as I mentioned earlier in this blog, send us your questions. Yeah, if you've got any questions. Because we'll be doing that video in... Next mm, month. Less than two weeks. Yeah. Can be any, any sort of questions. Yeah. About our childhood, um, about how I know Andy and how he knows me. I can't remember my childhood um, much. Well, you can't remember what you did half an hour ago, that's... Yeah, that, this is true. As to pronto. As to pronto. Recommended video for you this week from the back catalogue. Uh, it's not had that many views and there's no comments, so, and it's a place that not many people know about. Have a look through, and I'll put the link in the description. Have a look through the back catalogue. See if you can find the one for uh, Finca Ribati or Restaurant Ribati. Beautiful place. Out in the sticks a little bit. Uh, not necessarily the cheapest, but. Definitely an experience.